This is Mache Kusiara. You've probably heard his name before. He's probably worked on all the popular games you've been playing for a while now. And I'm about to send him a message on his Facebook profile. Let's see if he reads my message and replies to me immediately. Hi Mache. Happy Easter. Hi sir. Hi Mache. Hi. Okay, this doesn't seem to work and I think I'm being too pushy. Let's take a different route and try that again. Hi Maché, please can I show you my art portfolio for you to critique? Is he going to reply? Is he going to reply? Is he going to reply? Oh, he replied! Oh! Yo, what's going on guys? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You know how we do it around here. We're always showcasing the works of talented artists on this channel. So first person you guys should follow is William Bang. He's a really fantastic concept artist. He has a lot of characters on his page. It's really, really fantastic. He has this rim light thing going that I really love. You guys should check him out on Instagram. He's really amazing. Next person is Lorenzo NTL. He has a really fantastic style for drawing characters. Really simplified like an animation artist. It's something I really love. I really like this kind of look in my work. I love his, I love his drawings. I love how he does his characters and all that make sure you give him a follow on instagram and the next person is hg actual art my man this guy always links me up with fantastic apps i can use for referencing and just studies just a really fantastic artist and he has really fancy studies on his page too so make sure you give him a follow and if you want to get a follow yourself there's a pinned comment down below you can all leave your instagram handles down there all your portfolios and in the next video you might get a shout out as well so make sure you like this video and leave a comment down in the comment section so this video is going to be kind of like a story time where i tell you uh, how i reached out to Mache Kusiara back in 2013 and i'm just going to be talking over this soldier uh 76 fan art from overwatch an amazing character lovely game love all the art in the game so anyways uh i know a lot of you guys beginner artists and just even some mid-tier artists too you really love reaching out to your favorite artists professional artists people you look up to uh people you kind of want to be your mentors and sometimes when you reach out to them you don't get a reply instantly or you don't even get a reply at all and i feel like we really don't understand this i mean i didn't understand why i wasn't getting a reply especially back then when i first started out and i was sending a lot of messages i was just sending messages hi hey hello hi bro what's up hey hi i just kept on bugging artists because i was really enthusiastic i wanted to learn i had that uh, excitement in me i was really really pumped to learn art so i just kept on reaching out to a lot of people and most times I didn't get replies, I didn't get answered because I wasn't approaching them the right way. So I sent Mache Kusiara a message in 2013 and I pretty much started the same way that a lot of uh, younger artists start out. I sent him a message, I just uh, said hi, I'm an amateur artist starting out. I just kept on bugging him immediately without any direction to what my message was saying. There wasn't any direction to my messages. I just kept on sending him black messages and I didn't get any reply at first. And then I came back again and sent him a proper message explaining what I wanted from him, explaining who I was. I just said I was a beginner artist. I needed some critiques. I've been following his work. Pretty much just explaining the purpose of uh, why i was reaching out to him instead of just sending blank messages and to my surprise he actually responded and told me he was currently busy which i should have figured out because he was working for games he was busy and i should try emailing him some of my art and he will take a look at it when he has the time so i did that i, I was at that point i was in the crimson daggers that was run by dave Raposa and there was a competition that they usually host Dave Raposa and Dan Warren called the blood sports where they will have all of us uh, do some drawings, do some paintings and we'll paint from reference and then take what we've learned and create an image from that. And then they'll have different artists come and judge. And for that one, the judge was Brad Rigney. So <laughs> it was really amazing. I was really inspired because I loved everything about that particular challenge. It really spoke to me. It had that 80s vibe and all the artists that were competing, the uh, Dave Raposa, the, uh, the judges, Brad Rigney, everything was just really my vibe. That Everything had that 80s vibe in it. So I came into this competition with so much excitement. I was 
coming in hard i was coming in really hot i'm like i know i'm definitely going to win this one i know i'm going this competition is mine i have this one in the bag and then when the judges came uh and then when brad rigney came to judge the event and the results came out <laughs> i was nowhere near the top five i was like seven or eight or so or something like that so it just it blew my mind i think it was won by thomas mahone or alex negria it was either alex negria or thomas mahone i can't remember but anyways it really bugged me and i was trying to figure out what did i do wrong in this image so i was reaching out to different artists to kind of tell me their to get their opinion on my work and explain to me what i have to do to level up my art and improve and so i reached out to Mache Kusiara at that time and upon stating exactly what i wanted to know from him what i wanted him to help me out with he responded and i emailed him the image and i'll just put a a photo of the chat we had and what he said i should work on right on the screen so you can see the image uh at that point, I was really heavily influenced by Dave Raposa. This image in particular, I took some references from Brad Rigney. He always loved using these um, colors in his work and especially the lighting, everything. I was really, really just interested in painting at that point. It was really what I wanted to do. Anyways, Maché took his time and broke down everything that I was supposed to be looking at in the image and because I didn't understand my anatomy then I didn't really understand what I was doing in my images I couldn't um, take in all the information he was giving me so with time I was also able to kind of understand everything he was saying and learn composition learn uh, learn anatomy learn lighting and pretty much things that will make your art really pop out and stand out and right now i will tell you that i am still not good i don't feel like i've learned a lot at all i still feel like i have so much so much so much more to learn from looking at all these artists like right now marco dojevic just posted an image on instagram i just saw it and it links back to his website where they just updated their their game the genesis and if you just take a look at all the arts in that game you just really feel like quitting so that's the kind of motivation that's the kind of uh push that you need to always keep you on your toes and kind of make you want to improve your art make you want to create more art learn more and make better images so taking from what Marche told me i just went back and started putting in more work, doing more studies. Uh, that was when I started doing the daily studies. Then I even started making studies where I'll, cause I listen to Dave Raposa a lot. And sometimes you'll say that he'll do studies and he doesn't even save his studies. He just does his studies and deletes the PSD. So I pretty much took in that same mentality and started doing those kind of studies where you study things on your desk, uh, study anatomy, study from photos, and then you just delete the PSD, delete the JPEG, and then rely on the knowledge you've learned in your head. So you see how I drew everything from this encounter with Maché, and then I started applying myself to kind of the art that I was doing. Now, this is really how you would want to be approaching artists. You really don't want to send them a ton of messages, just send them black messages just saying hi hello and expecting them to answer there all these guys are really professional artists they're like they're pro artists and they're working all the time either on video games or movies or either working on their own ip you really can't tell you you really have to respect people's time respect the artist's time as much as you love his work and you feel like He's the only person that can help you, but you also need to respect him as a person, respect his time, just the way you respect his work, the way you the way you feel his work is really good and you respect it so much. You have to show that same respect into him as a person, respect his time. I mean, all of these artists have families. So first thing you want to do when you're trying to approach an artist is you have to understand the manner of approach that you're coming into the conversation with so first off you don't want to sound cocky at all you don't want to sound like you know what you're doing uh 
depending on what you want to ask though you don't want to sound like you're just pretty much just coming at him and trying to be fancy or all that you really want to come in humble just keep your head to the ground reach out to the artist uh explain what you want um just be nice just be nice you don't have to come out and start acting weird and calling the artist names no you really don't want to do that i mean i had someone that tried to reach out to me and immediately he started asking me um uh, what do artists in my country charge and it just sounded weird you never had any conversation with me and that was the first thing you were asking so i had to question him and find out what he wanted to know exactly was there a project he was trying to build or was he trying to figure out a way to kind of pay staff or something i did i needed to know more so when you're approaching an artist you want to make sure that everything you're coming out everything you want to do state everything and make it clear just be plain and straight to the point and be nice be polite don't be rude uh don't just sound weird and then the next thing is after coming in after just uh explaining what you want the next thing you want to get straight to the point with is the purpose of your message why you're reaching out to the artist do you want to get a critique do you want him to review your work or do you want to commission him to make an image for you this can be for pretty much clients that want to clients that reach out to artists that want them to do work and sometimes it might just be inquiries where they reach out to artists trying to um get their rates trying to uh inquire if they are available for freelance because sometimes a lot of artists don't put it in their profile that they're available for freelance most times you have to reach out to them and ask them if they're available for freelance if they're taking work and sometimes that might be your reason for reaching out to an artist so make sure you just get straight to the point and say it tell the artist why you're reaching out if you're just reaching out for inquiries you can just say it right there or if you're trying to get a critique trying to get the artist to review your work you can say that too explain and always make sure that you're being polite you're respecting the artist's time so you can say something like uh i know you're kind of busy i know you're really busy but if you have time i would really really love for you to check out my portfolio i know i said this particular line i said it a lot i said it a lot to a lot of artists i said it to brad rigney and most of the times eventually you will get a reply most of the time if, if you're making sure that you're really polite and you're just being really nice and pretty much respecting the artist and just being nice with your words a little bit fancy with your words you have to be a little bit fancy with your words know how to use your words just be nice definitely you get a reply even though it takes a long time you will definitely get a reply and then that's what it this just brings us to the next part of this whole this whole this whole thing of reaching out to artists and to me i feel like this is even the most important part and it is patience you really have to be patient with artists you really have to be patient because like i said earlier a lot of these professional artists are i don't know about some of them but i know the ones that i really look up to are kind of older than i am and they have families they have children they have kids so they're probably doing different things with their time and me right now that's kind of living alone so i have some time to myself i can't compare myself to artists that have families so you know that their priorities are going to be different and they might not even be online on social media as much as you think they are even though they are you still have to respect them respect their time and just not try to uh just not try to send them bland messages that are really um that really don't have don't hold water like you're just saying hey hi just asking them how their day went even though it's nice i mean it's nice to show that you care for an artist and all that but you don't want to be doing that almost every time every day i mean just 
you do that in the morning and then in the afternoon you reach out to the same artist saying hi how's your day going it doesn't make any sense the artist will just think you're weird and just they will probably just stop replying you i mean i know some people can get easily obsessed with artists because i myself am obsessed with a lot of artists and if i had the chance to talk to them i might just disregard all these principles i'm talking about but i know that these work because these are the things that i have used for the longest time ever to just reach out to artists and just um talk to them get inquiries get reviews about my work maybe just network with them and kind of build a relationship where um you can reach out to them and ask for things ask for ask questions um maybe figure things out you know just get creative so you always have to be patient with the artists don't don't rush don't rush i mean you guys know the challenge that's 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 popping off right now right yeah and then the last thing is to just keep in touch after you've built all this uh relationship once you once you built the relationship you built the connection with the artist you want to always just uh keep in touch with the artist now when i mean keep in touch um i don't mean you should always reach out to the artist every day or every hour or just keep on sending him messages you can just space it out maybe you might be checking in on him say uh once every two weeks or something of the sort you really just need to figure out a way to just um keep in touch with the artist but don't make it too too weird for the artist where it feels like you're just checking up on him like you would be checking up on a girl that you're trying to ask out no <laughs> artists are artists are just human beings like yourself so you really have to build a connection build a friendship what you're doing essentially is just building a friendship building an uh an acquaintance an acquaintance right is that how y'all say it because english is hard in my country <laughs> so yeah basically you're just trying to build a friendship with um with with the artist so you just like how you do your regular friend you reach out to him and ask yo what's up homie what's going on that's the same thing you want to do with an artist you just reach out occasionally not not every day just space it out you reach out to the artist and ask what's going on how is what 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 projects are you working on if you're working uh just you know catch up play catch up play catch up on life and sometimes well most times that might really not be necessary unless you really have something super super important to discuss with the artist but it's just a good way to um, network with artists and kind of build your um build your base build your network of different artists that you can reach out to if there's something bugging you or you want some reviews in your work or you just are kind of looking for freelance you will know that you have this network of different artists different professionals that you can reach out to to ask them for help to ask them for criticism and all that so you can see how um i just used my experience with machi kusiara and I just shared it with you guys and this is basically how you would want to reach out to artists so just make sure you keep these in mind when you're reaching out to artists Mache is a really fantastic guy man he's a really really like even after i sent him those messages and i later on sent him um other messages just talking about my direction with my art what i was doing at the point he always replied to me he was always nice he never um he never sounded weird he never uh just ignored me blatantly and it just goes to show you that if you if you are nice if you are really if you're really just down to earth and really frank and you respect the artist's time and reach out to them and explain everything you want to do that you're definitely going to get a reply you're definitely going to get what you need from the artist. You're definitely going to get that help that you, you need from the artist. They will reply you. Nine out of ten times, they will reply you. I'm pretty damn sure. So, yeah. Uh, 
with all this being said um i know i've said this before but it just keeps on piling it keeps on piling i have a ton of dms on my instagram that i have to take i think they're close to probably 200 or plus plus they're more than 200 right now because it just keeps on showing the 99 thing and when i try to reduce it it just keeps on going on and it's been going on for months now that there's a lot of you guys that have reached out to me some are saying they've watched my youtube videos and they really love it they appreciate everything i've been talking about and i really love that i can just make videos like this and reach out to a lot of people and share my opinions from one part of the earth this is really weird for me just being a a nigerian youtuber an african youtuber actually living in nigeria living in africa and making youtube content i don't think i have seen um any other youtubers that are doing art that are living in africa that i can network with that i can network with right here in africa so this is really weird for me but i love that i can just make videos and just reach out to everyone just right here on this platform it's a really fantastic platform and i'm really just thankful that i can do this so a lot of you guys that are reaching out to me i really appreciate it i'm i'm really thankful that you're taking the advice that i'm giving you're using some of the techniques that i speak about that i show in my videos i'm really really thankful for that and you guys always tag me and i always make sure that i reply i comment on your work and i show your work on my instagram stories that's my mission with my channel and the more i keep growing it i'll make sure that i can keep on helping you guys grow your own social media following grow your own base and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave the video a like subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new here and i will see you in the next video peace Now I gotta ride or die